Morning, YouTube. I think it's going to be a good day, guys. The sun is shining. There's another van dweller right there. Here are my plans for today, guys. First of all, I gotta run into this Walmart and get myself some food. I actually have nothing for breakfast right now. Next, I'm gonna hit the gym and lift some weights because that's what I do. You can't stop, you know what I mean? Once, once you stop for even a little bit, it's even harder to get back in and get going. So I gotta go there, gotta get to the gym and keep that consistent. After that, I gotta find myself some Wi-Fi, do a little bit of a job search, try to see if I can find a gig or a job around here in the area. And then I'm gonna find a cool place to settle down and do a little bit of Q and A. can't beat it guys, for 15 bucks I get a bunch of bananas, a bunch of Roma tomatoes, a whole bunch of avocados, three good sized cucumbers, 35 servings of peanuts to make sure I'm getting protein, and some rolls to put those veggies on just to make it, you know, more fun to eat. actually really good to be honest with you guys I have never before now been accustomed to like eating just like natural like cutting up fruits and vegetables and just like combining them and eating them but I'm really getting into it had one of those bananas and then a handful of peanuts and that's everything I need that, my friends, is how you eat on the road. So you guys, the real beauty of eating like that on the road is that you're getting everything that your body needs and you know none of the crap that it, it doesn't need. That is the way to go, guys. And I gotta give credit to my buddy Pat, who lives in his Subaru that I spent the weekend with last weekend. He had a whole bunch of veggies and uh, bread and stuff like that. And I just realized that it is truly the way to go. But I am here now, guys, at the gym. I'm gonna hit it hard, and uh, yeah. found a few promising gigs, uh, a couple of possible jobs, and there's one that I found that I'm actually really interested in, and that's a position on a ranch working with horses. I sent them a really enthusiastic email. Um, I think that's something that would be awesome for the lifestyle that I'm living. While I still got daylight here in Arizona, guys, gonna get on the road and head to the lake and uh, hopefully find like a nice peaceful spot to just chill, watch the sun go down, and uh, call it a night. Oh, 
to wrap up this vlog, I'm going to answer a question that I've gotten a million times. I've gotten it so many times that I wanted to make this one video as sort of a point of reference that when I get the question, I can say, hey, watch this vlog and I'll answer it for you. The question is, why do you live in a Jeep? It's kind of a complicated answer and it's really not. It all stems from a desire for adventure. Before this part of my life, when I moved into my Jeep and started traveling full time, I was working in an office for about two years. I didn't enjoy it. At first, I was very happy to have it because it was a job. It was a real job. I was on salary. I got promoted. I was very excited about it. What I found was that in the end, I wasn't challenged in a meaningful way. I didn't see myself growing. I was not waking up excited for what I had ahead of me each day. And the worst thing, at the end of the day, after I was done with my job, I just felt like crap and all I wanted to do was go to sleep. I wasn't enjoying myself all around. My life wasn't the way that I wanted it to be. My unhappiness with work was sort of seeping into other areas of my life and it was just not a good situation. Through a lot of self-reflection and a ton of research on the van dweller lifestyle, I decided that it was right for me. I wanted to live in a vehicle so that every day I could wake up in a new place and seek out new things and constantly be faced with the challenge of making it work. I chose to live in my Jeep because I knew it would be challenging, I knew it would be weird, and I knew that it would enable me to have new and interesting experiences in a way that I had just never had access to previously. That's it for me today, guys. I'm back here at Starbucks to edit everything together from today. I just want to thank you all for watching. Thank you all for liking, subscribing, commenting, communicating with me. It's all amazing. And I want to encourage you guys once again to go out and find your own freedom. Go out and figure out what it is that you want to do with your life that's going to that's gonna really, you know, have, have meaning to you and have impact on, on the world and, and others in, in a way that, that suits you. Thank you, guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow.